Hello and welcome to this ANSYS video tutorial on Totem's graphical user interface. This tutorial will help you get acquainted with some of its basic features and some key debugging methods. Let us take a quick look at the Totem's GUI design. The GUI can be reconfigured for Power EMI, Signal EM, or ESD analysis using the GUI option or using the Setup Analysis mode option. Going forward, I will be demonstrating the GUI usage mainly for Power EMI and Signal EM analysis. This here is the menu bar, the tickle command console, the primary display area, the log display area, the view control toolbar, layer selection window where you can configure the layers that you want to view, view configuration buttons, you can configuration the various maps that you want to see, and the design display area. Clicking on the file tab from the menu bar, you can import GDS2. On importing the GDS2, it helps you view the GDS view as well as the totem layout view simultaneously. This helps in debugging. Using the file tab, you can also import the netlist, the ECO files. You can also export the database. From the edit tab, you can perform various optimization steps such as adding or deleting straps, pads, vias, decaps, etc. We can also use the ruler option to perform, take any measurements in the design or you can use the keyboard shortcut K. For example, using the button K, you can click at any point in the GUI design and measure the distance between the two wire segments. Using the view tab, we can highlight various disconnected vias or wires using the connectivity tab. We can also select the nets that we want to view from the nets tab. For example, if we want to view only the VD net, we can unselect the VSS net and then click on apply. This will disable all the VSS nets and enable only the VDD nets. Another way to disable the unselected nets is you select a particular net, click on the middle mouse click button, select display nets and exclude unselected nets. This will en enable only the nets that you have selected. For example, here we have selected the VSS nets so all the VDD nets are hidden. Various maps can be viewed from the view tab such as power maps, resistance maps, voltage drop maps, etc. You can select any particular map based on the issue that you are debugging. Using the waveform view options opens a GUI to view the voltage and current waveforms. You can open the list of worst transistor pin voltages and select the transistors that you want to plot the waveform for. For example, if you want to plot the voltage waveform for this particular, you click on voltage waveform only and click on plot waveform that will plot the waveform of that particular transistor. Using the results tab, you can view a list of various results. Let us take an example of debugging an IR drop. You can click on the list of worst transistor pin voltages, select any particular transistor from the list, click on SPT. SPT is a feature in Totem that is shortest path trace, which gives the shortest path from the pad to that particular transistor. The shortest path is selected based on the minimum resistance. For example here, you see that the path that is highlighted is the least resistance path from the pad to this particular transistor. The SPT report displays the resistance and the voltage drop at each particular metal layer starting from the pad till the diffusion of the transistor. The windows options shows a list of various pre-configured windows. You can select any particular pre-configured window based on the analysis that you are performing. For example, if you want to debug the IR drop, you can select the extra IR debug. This displays the various maps that might be helpful in debugging the IR drop. For example, we'll need the transistor voltage drop map as well as the current map to debug the IR drop. You can also customize your own set of windows by using the setup configuration option and selecting any particular map or result that you want to view simultaneously. These were some of the basic features of Totem's graphical user interface. Thank you for listening to this tutorial. 